Hey guys, it's Jen and today I wanted to do a product review. I went to a rare beauty event last week, got to meet Selena Gomez, pretty exciting. And in the goodie bag, I happened to get this package. So inside we have the entire Kind Words lip collection, which includes lip liners and lipsticks. So I wanted to do a little review for you today so you guys have a good idea of what they all look like and maybe help inform decisions if you're interested in checking them out. And of course, like do a, a first impressions along the way. Just as an overview, there are 10 lip liners and 10 lipsticks. The lip liners are selling for $15 and the lipsticks are selling for 20 USD. Both the lip liner and lipstick are matte. I'm going to go from light to dark in terms of trying them on and swatching them because just because that's how it is in this container that makes it easier. I'm gonna start here and go across. They have matching shades for both so I'll be trying on both and yeah, okay, so let's get started. We are going to start off with Talented. So two things with the actual lip liner, it looks like it's a twist up style. So you don't actually need to physically sharpen it, but if you do want to sharpen the tip, if you pull out the end, there's a sharpener built into the end. And it also shows you what color it is right here on the end of the actual pencil. Okay, so Talented is actually a pretty spot on dupe, if not just slight lighter than my actual lip color like I put this on it doesn't look that different than the color of my lips with nothing on them which is kind of delightful because sometimes I just want a little definition but for it to look really really natural let's try out the matching lipstick the lipsticks are kind of interesting obviously it has a really nice shaped bullet in the colorway that they always have this end part though the way that you open it up is to push it like that Okay, so when it's in, you push this little button and then you can pull it out. It does look like a little bit of a tannish pink. Um, I'm assuming it's going to match, but we'll see. Okay, so I put the lipstick on. I have to say, I feel like the lip liner is a little bit more natural looking on me. By the time I put this color on, I don't know if it's just because my lips were already a little bit dry. I feel like it is sinking into some of my lip creases a little bit and I think it's because it's a little bit lighter than my natural lip color. So I don't know if this is the most flattering color on me. It does seem to me that the lipstick is just a little bit, little bit lighter than the lip liner in this particular shade. Overall, it's like kind of a tannish neutral on my medium light yellow undertone skin. That's talented. My lips are gonna be so ripped up after this. But you can see a little bit of the difference between the color of the lipstick and my natural lip color. I should have exfoliated. The next shade is Creative. It looks to be a little bit peachier than the last shade. Honestly, I feel like the lip liners are going to be a little more forgiving because I'm not applying it quite as opaque as the lipsticks. Cause this one is a little bit lighter than I anticipated as well, so. Let's try the lipstick. That looks really light. <laughs> yeah, honestly, this one seems even lighter, oddly enough, than the last lipstick. It's definitely like the kind of nude I would pair with like a dark smoky eye 10 years ago. I mean, I'm sure people do still do that now. It's a flattering nude. I personally do like peachier tones versus just like a really neutral nude lipstick. And it's actually kind of matching my eyeshadow right now, which is, that's a vibe. I just don't think I would necessarily pair this look together. But overall, I, I feel like this one might be actually a little more flattering on me than the last shade. So that is creative. Ooh. Honestly, it's always so hard to swatch lipsticks because all of the wiping, it's so rough on the lips. Okay, next we have Lively. And this is looking to be a little bit of a peachy rose. I will say I like the feel of these lip liners. Some lip liners, they feel really, almost like there's a plastic coating on your lips or that they're overly drying. And this actually feels pretty comfortable. Okay, I said the last color matched with my eyeshadow, but I think this one matches even better. I like that it's a little bit darker because it looks a little bit more natural. But again, I feel like I keep liking how the lip liners look before the lipstick, so. We're gonna put this on and see if it also looks that way. In the tube, this looks pretty promising. So this is lively on me. 
I feel like it's a really beautiful everyday peachy kind of shade. This is uh, an everyday neutral kind of color that I feel like I would really tend to naturally go for. It's a little bit more peach than my natural color, but I feel like it really brings out the yellow undertones of my skin and it looks really healthy and cute. And it really goes again with my eyeshadow. Very like rose gold kind of moment. It's pretty. This is the third time I'm filming this because I forgot to hit record on the sound. So this one is Worthy. This is probably the closest to my totally natural lip color, which I think would look good as a neutral if I were wearing like a smoky eye or something really intense on my eyelids because it's going to look a lot more like not over the top. But I think it also is like slightly has these purpley undertones that my natural lips do have, but I think I usually tend to go for a little bit warmer shades. It's not that it doesn't look flattering, it's just not what I typically go for. It's just like slightly cooler than what I normally go for myself and what I think is the most flattering on me. But it kind of depends on your own personal preference. If you like something a little bit warmer, maybe go for Lively. If you like something that is a true match to your lip color and you tend to have a really similar skin tone to me, then Worthy is a good option. It looks like a very natural actual nude on my lips with like a little bit of 90s vibes. Like it's a little bit, you know, of that neutral grayish mauve tone. Next we have Humble. Okay, that is so pretty. I feel like this is more of the lip liner color that I tend to go for, for like wearing every single day. I know I'm going to wear this down to a nub. This is so cute. Okay, um, Humble. So let's see how the lipstick is. Also, I will say so far, a lot of the uh, lipsticks, this one seems exactly the same color as the lip liner. This is also slightly lighter than I thought it was going to be. I feel like Worthy is actually a little bit darker on me. But again, this is a really pretty everyday color if you have a similar skin tone to me. I like that there are actually quite a few to choose from that I could use as like an everyday kind of neutral. This is a really good like everyday rose. Okay, the next shade is Fun. This looks like it's gonna be a little bit warmer. Ooh, I love this one. It's a little bit more of a peachy, wearable medium tone. Okay, I didn't realize I was going to like so many colors, but this one might actually be my favorite that we've tried so far, like for real. This is so beautiful. I feel like this is definitely something that I can wear every day, but I don't feel like it ages me because it is a little bit warm, but it's dark enough that it's not looking like nude, like some of those previous colors were. I feel like this one is very natural on my skin tone. And once again, it having that little bit of orangey peachy tones in it really makes my skin tone look very healthy and it also doesn't look too vintagey either. I really like it. This is my favorite. Fun. <laughs> now I feel like we're finally getting into some of the really bright, more vibrant colors. This one is called Wise. Okay, Berry. Cute. Okay, so the lipstick made it a little bit deeper and a little more like vampy kind of almost gives me like 1920s flapper kind of vibes like a very muted berry tone the next color is bold this is definitely first impression giving me 90s vibes oh yeah this is giving me drew barrymore in the 1990s this lipstick looks really red the color here this looks so different the lip liner on the container looks much more neutral this looks really a lot more red, so we'll see what the color looks like on my lips. Okay, for this shade, I find the lipstick in bold so much more wearable than the lip liner. The lip liner is definitely a lot more purple than the lipstick. It's not like a perfect shade match. Definitely giving me 90s vibes, but a little more wearable. And I'm so relieved because with the lip liner, alone it felt a little bit cool toned like more so than what i think i would be comfortable wearing but this one i feel like i could definitely rock like on a normal day and it wouldn't be too jarring it has those reddish tones but it's not so red that it feels like you're trying to wear a red lipstick i like this one a lot okay a lot more than i expected to the next shade i'm swatching is gifted this one does look like significantly darker 
according to this color. I think it was twisted way up for some reason. Okay, that is the gifted lip liner. Now let's do the lipstick. So Gifted is looking very dark, very, very vampy. Maybe a little bit darker than what I would normally wear. Maybe this is like a, an October color for me, if you know what I mean. The, the vibes that I'm getting from this whole collection is that it's almost like she wanted to give a good neutrally shade for every skin tone. You know, versus like trying to get all of the brights checked off the list, like a bright red, for instance. I feel like it was very intentional for people of darker skin tones for this to like look really flattering on them. The last shade is called Strong and this looks like a very deep chocolate color. Okay, so that's Strong Lip Liner. Once again, I feel like the lipstick looks like it might have slightly more reddish tones, but this is so dark on me, I'm not sure if it's going to pick it up on camera. We'll see. So there's Strong. <laughs> Obviously, this is just what I would wear on a normal day. This is looking like almost like a black lipstick. I'm not gonna say it's not pretty. It's definitely pretty, definitely very, very opaque. And it's, if you're going for like a black shade, like say it is around holiday times and you wanna go for a black lipstick but want something a little more flattering for like yellow or warmer undertones, this is actually a really great option for that. Just as the name implies, it's very strong. <laughs> I think I might do a little mix and match. I'm gonna try using maybe Gifted Lip Liner. And then let's do Humble on the inside. Maybe that's a little light fun. Now we have a nice little 3D lip moment. Got the darker liner with the lighter lipstick. What do we think? It's nice uh, 90s vibes going on. So overall, my first impressions of the collection is that I feel like all of the shades were keeping a very broad range of skin tones in mind. It seems like they were really going more for the everyday lipstick that somebody could wear and have it be very modern, fresh, current, and natural flattering for a lot of different skin tones versus trying to find the really extreme bold colors. Like there isn't a fuchsia or a scarlet red. These are everyday kind of shades. I was pretty surprised to see just how many neutral pinks would work on me that were really flattering for every day. Only a couple colors at the outer ranges of the shade range I felt were a little bit harder for me to pull off for every day. And that's saying a lot. I feel like for different situations, I really could wear every single shade. My winners in this whole collection, my favorite, favorite ones that I tried on were Lively. This one was a little bit more of a peachy shade. Fun, which I feel like is a really good warm everyday rosy color on me. And and then Wise, which was that kind of berry-ish tone, but like a really wearable, deeper shade. I like those three shades for my skin tone. Mixing and matching is also quite nice. I absolutely loved the formula of the lip liners. They glided on so easily. They didn't like tug too much or feel overly drying. And I felt like there were so many shades that would work on wearing on an everyday basis. I have been like just such a huge fan of lip liners in general. So I was like extra excited to see this collection come out. In terms of the lipsticks, I felt like the lighter shades tended to kind of sink into lip lines a little bit more. So if you do tend to have drier lips or have really prominent lip lines, that is something to consider. But in general, the lipsticks I feel like are really comfortable on the lips. Like they don't feel too heavy. I was just shocked to see how many would work for me. I'm, I'm just still like used to this world in which I get sent a whole collection of products and then I'll swatch them. And in terms of like a neutral pink, I'll usually just find one that works for me. So it's just nice to have a collection where there are multiple ones to choose from and each one is just like a slightly different vibe. So that was the surprising thing for me. No bright red, which is very, I feel like very reminiscent of the 
launch of Selena's collection, especially those lip souffles. She came out in the beginning and all of the advertisement, it had those like bright red lipsticks. So I was like wondering if she was going to have one of those in this lipstick collection. But no, this is really a full collection of neutrals. We'll see if she comes out with something a little bit later, but so far I'm very pleased with the collection. I tend to like a soft beat. I like a natural everyday kind of look. And if you are also into that, I mean, let me know, is this collection your kind of vibe? Are you like an everyday natural lip kind of girl? Or are you like somebody who likes going a little bit more bold, a little more extreme? I would love to know your opinion in the comments. What do you think? Was anything surprising to you? And if you have opinions that agree or disagree with what I said in terms of what shades were flattering, let me also know what was your favorite shade and what do you think you're planning on picking up? I love you guys. I really hope this was helpful if you're going to be picking up anything from this collection. I know that I would be because I am such a huge Selena Gomez and Rare Beauty fan. But if you liked this video or found it helpful, please hit that thumbs up button. It really helps my visibility on YouTube. And feel free to subscribe if you want more of these kinds of videos. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!